Level Mesh Trading House opened on the 24th of June. This is a platform for the sale of power tools and home appliances with the Slavanka drive. The products are developed at Sovelmash. Angle grinders will be sold first, followed by sales of trimming saws and other types of machinery. In China, meanwhile, a company is being set up to produce household appliances and power tools with integrated Sovelmash designed drive. The plant will produce both appliances and electric drives. Sovelmash will receive a commission on each product sold. Priority right of purchase will be given to investors and project partners. Preparations for winter are in full swing at the Sovelmash construction site. Builders are closing the thermal socket of the building. Assembly of the outer cladding, windows and roof is almost completed. In the administration and utility building, most of the glazing has been installed. The bay window is fully glazed. The subconcreting of the experimental production part of the building is nearing completion. On the first floor mezzanine, the fireproofing of the metal constructions has been completed and the installation of the interior partition walls has started. The fire escape of the administration building was installed in June. Works on laying the utilities are approaching. They require a large one-time expenditure. Now each of you has an opportunity to support the construction of the Design and Technological Bureau. Engineers at Sovelmash have developed a universal actuator for power tools and domestic appliances to replace the standard manifold actuator. Tests with an angle grinder have shown that the motor is superior to its factory-made counterparts. Sovelmash specialists have perfected the technology of casting the short-circuit rotor with aluminium. Thanks to this, they were able to make the production of the rotor much easier and cheaper. The first successful aluminium casting of the motor wheel rotor took place on the 21st of June. China launches online training for engineers. Specialists from different countries are being trained to operate and service Slavanka electric cars and electric motorbikes. They will also learn how to prepare kits for converting gasoline vehicles to electric ones using the combined winding technology. The engineers will be trained with the participation of Savalmash partner Viktor Aristov. The program will expand the network of service centers around the world where Slavanka's machinery can be serviced. In June, various vehicles with Slavanka engines underwent running tests. The vehicles were prepared by Steen, whose founder is project partner Andrei Lobov. The motors with combined windings proved to be excellent on river transport. A 5kW motor was installed on a boat of the Russian Emergencies Unit. Employees of the Emergency Situations Unit participated in tests on the river and were satisfied with the equipment, its quietness, speed, maneuverability and lack of fumes. Later, a 7kW electric motor was installed on the boat weighing 600kg. The motors with Slavanka are used not only on water but also on land. A tuk-tuk with such an engine and a solar panel has been working on an agricultural farm for more than a month without faults. Another steam development is the upgraded Bajaj Pulsar motorbike. One of Asia's most popular motorbikes was tested on the roads of Sochi and showed how it was better than the factory petrol motorbike. Slavanka vehicles are in demand in various areas. Particular attention is paid to it by the business community that cares about the environmental friendliness of the vehicles. The Solar Group International Conference was announced in June. It will be held on the 6th of August at the Congress Center of the Special Economic Zone Technopolis Moscow in Elabusheva. The participants of the event are waiting for speeches by top Solar Group officials and Sovelmash representatives, networking with other investors and partners, a showroom of Slavanka engines and machinery, the opportunity to see patents, engine test reports and other company documents, and most importantly there will be a visit to the Sovelmash construction site. This is the main offline event of the project of the last three years. Only 350 people will be able to take part in it. Register now via the link in the video description to be among them.